Welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel, to the internet computer family. Appreciate you guys as always for showing tremendous amount of love, but let's get right into it. See what is happening with internet computer today. And of course, what we could be expecting going further into obviously Friday morning. So if we're looking at the broader market, I'm sure at this point, everyone knows exactly what is happening with um, you know the overall market. I gave you guys the market analysis earlier yesterday. Um, if you did watch that, of course, you guys know what is happening. But if you missed it, we can kind of briefly go over as to what is happening. But, you know, pretty much across the board, uh, a lot of coins are down. Um, you know, over the last one hour, you are starting to see the market rebound. You know, ICP to be specific, it's up about 0.7%. But let's take a closer look in terms of Bitcoin as well. And you know, keep Bitcoin's price very uh, closely in mind, you know, when we are analyzing the charts. But let's take a look at what's happening with internet computer. Uh, looking at the price, $8.77. You know, it's pretty much where it was yesterday. Uh, but, you know, the price did get, um, you know, retested at the exact uh, level that you know we kind of mentioned in the yesterday's update even though you know the yesterday update was packed with a lot of information a lot of people actually did miss out on that one there's a lot of big things coming a lot of big things that are being hinted by you know the founder of internet computer and um, yeah you know a lot of people are excited um, only the ones that actually believe in internet computer right now because again even though you are seeing bitcoin sitting above sixty four thousand dollars you might think you know the market is looking absolutely amazing but the uncertainty level right now is still quite high and it's again you know their main goal and when i say there i mean by these massive whales um you know their main goal at the end of the day is to shake out the weekends and their number one priority is to get the as cheap prices as possible because believe it or not we're still in a bull market and as i've said this to you guys countless of times and um, they try to shake out the weekends to uh, pick up as much as possible at a cheaper price um, look what happened with bitcoin recently and look what happened with a lot of altcoins and um, but the same thing's going to happen just in a few you know very short time we're going to be looking back and seeing wow you know that was indeed uh, you know a great opportunity but anyhow let's take a look at what's happening with internet computer you know, before i do get started as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto eight dollars 78 cents is the price as we are going into friday morning in bitcoin comparative it's down about 0.3 percent with the market valuation currently sitting at 4.1 billion dollars and the 24-hour trading volume is at 102.7 million so in a grand scheme of things guys the price of internet computer is not looking as bad as you might think but let's go obviously a little bit further and look at what's happening with the broader markets you know bitcoin dominance index is something you want to kind of have your eyes glued on this tells you what's going to happen with altcoins this will tell you what's going to happen with altcoins, whether you're going to see uh, altcoins actually outpace Bitcoin, whether you're going to see out, uh, altcoins actually pretty much stay stagnant with Bitcoin, or whether you're going to see alt altcoins, you know, lag behind Bitcoin. You're looking at this dominance index, you know, pretty much going back to, you know, the July monthly high, which was around the 56.79%. And we're very close hitting a yearly high in terms of the dominance index. Bitcoin, on the other hand, cannot make up its mind. Uh, you know, obviously, it's been pretty much ranging back and forth. You know, we did see two to two different retests above $65,567, uh, which of course, you know, never actually managed to stay above. But, you know, as of now, we're sitting still above $64,000. Uh, and you guys know on this channel, that is the confirmation level that I gave myself. So right now, I'm still bullish on the price of Bitcoin in the short term. Obviously, if it's uh, able to go above that, great. Um, but if not, obviously, the chances of us having, uh, you know, a retest down to 62 could still be in play. So, now that we have that out of the way let's take a look at how internet computer is performing so like i said earlier to you guys internet computer is actually holding where it was yesterday but earlier uh, we did see it retest uh you know almost at the support at the eight dollars 19 cents which i had spoke to you guys about we didn't really get exactly to that price point but it was a very close you can see this for yourself eight dollars 64 cents was retested for internet computer and we did see a drop about three percent only so one thing that i really like seeing with internet computer is it actually didn't go down as much as a lot of people think and this is kind of bullish and now if you guys are probably wondering how is this bullish because let's face it btc had a drop of about 11 percent since you know the uh, monthly high back at uh, back on july 30th uh which is literally two days back uh, and of course you know this is going to impact altcoins in a very negative way if you're looking at it on the weekly time frame majority of these coins are down about 16 15 percent and um, you know you're looking at um, internet computer down 11 percent right now and these numbers are a little inaccurate uh, but you know 
internet computer in terms of holding where it was yesterday and compared to how it reacted to the uh, move we are uh, you know looking much much better uh, you know compared to that so now what you're looking at the price of internet computer tr trying to do is it's making its way back above nine dollars it's trying to do that but at the same time as you are looking at the price it is facing some key resistance as I've said to you guys before but I have no doubts uh, that you know once Bitcoin price kind of stabilizes it's really really important to see the price of internet comp I'm sorry Bitcoin uh, stabilize if that were to happen i'm very confident and again this is my own personal opinion at the end of the day i'm very confident that you do see icp reclaim back above ten dollars quite fast and again it's not a major move in order for it to go to ten dollars it's only a 15 percent increase and i do see this happening sooner than a lot of people do expect so that's how i'm currently analyzing the price of icp i'm liking how it's holding where it's at now considering what has happened for the broader market but we're going to take it one step at a time a lot of major developments coming in i cannot wait to see what they have in store um you know considering how much they're hyping up um, and if it is something that you know a lot of people can use and it could uh, scale icp to another level obviously that would be really good for internet computers price as well but again step by step one day after another um yeah let me know down below what you guys think if you have not subscribed or have you were waiting for it, just subscribe uh you know join the crypto zx army and i'll see you tomorrow in some crypto zx and peace out